Putin is afraid of this. German diplomats explain how to bring Russia to the negotiating table. Russian President Vladimir Putin will not sit down at the negotiating table with Ukraine until he feels a threat to his regime, in particular from the internal protest movement in Russia. To achieve this, the West must strengthen Ukraine and tighten the sanctions noose around the Kremlin, writes Deutsche Welle. As the former German ambassador to Moscow and former vice president of the German Federal Intelligence Service, Rudiger von Frisch explained to the publication, at the moment, Putin is absolutely not interested in ending this war because he expects that his aggression against Ukraine will eventually be rewarded. The chairman of the Munich Security Conference and former foreign policy advisor to Chancellor Angela Merkel, Merkel, Christoph Husgen, shares the same opinion. He does not believe that negotiations with the Russian Federation will be possible in the near future. I see the only chance for peace in returning Ukraine to a position of strength in this conflict, Husgen said. At the same time, he expressed doubt that Russia will be able to be involved in the next peace summit since the Kremlin rejects the Ukrainian peace terms. Von Frisch notes that Putin will only enter into serious negotiations when his power in Russia itself is in question. Vladimir Putin has to constantly buy the approval of the population at home. He runs his country through repression, propaganda and constant bribery, Von Frisch said. While sanctions have already put the Russian economy under pressure, the Kremlin is also afraid of the unexpected, such as an uprising that could destabilize its power. Von Frisch cited two such examples from the 1980s. The protests of the mothers of Soviet soldiers against the war in Afghanistan and the mass demonstrations of the Solidarity Trade Union led by Lech Walesa that overthrew the communist system in Poland. Putin is afraid of this, and you have to lead him to this. If he comes to this conclusion, he will be ready to talk. How to achieve this? Strengthen Ukraine and introduce further sanctions against Russia, von Frisch said. Hamburg flooded with rain. Judging by the forecast, today the citizens are waiting for a respite, and from tomorrow the showers will charge for the whole week. South of Hamburg, heavy thunderstorms caused flooding on the tracks. The railway line between Hamburg and Bremen was therefore temporarily closed, the track was now drivable again, but only at reduced speed, according to a spokesperson for Deutsche Bahn. This resulted in delays of approximately 15 minutes. It remained unclear when regular service would resume. In Baden-Württemberg, several railway lines had to be interrupted due to weather damage. Rakal, the next Euro match will be held at the local stadium on July 5th, and in the meantime it is possible to hold the CHE on water polo. Judging by the footage, the Open Championship of Underwater Skating on Giants has already started. The 30,000 stadium in Hoffenheim, for example, is already fully ready to receive water polo players. Since the beginning of the month, farmers have suffered huge losses in the south of Germany, there, the spill of the Danube and other rivers destroyed wheat crops and part of the infrastructure. The German Weather Service predicts changeable weather for the north. In Hamburg and Schleswig-Holstein, temperatures of 21 to 26 degrees are expected. Numerous thunderstorms in wide parts of Germany are mainly concentrated in the south and east. Thunderstorms are expected only occasionally in other areas. Heavy rain and thunderstorms in large parts of Germany led to numerous interventions by the fire department due to lightning strikes and flooding, as well as traffic disruptions. Affected areas included North Rhine-Westphalia, Thuringia, Hesse, Hamburg, Lower Saxony, Mecklenburg-Vorpommern, and Baden-Württemberg. 